CBS All Access revealed the official trailer for the highly anticipated limited event series The Stand during the series' New York Comic Con panel. The virtual panel brought together cast members as well as executive producers for a vibrant conversation previewing the series. In addition, Whoopi Goldberg surprised fans by debuting the official trailer during the panel. Here's everything we know about the upcoming Stephen King adaptation. Bring it on. First off, the nine-episode limited event series premieres Thursday, December 17th, with new episodes dropping weekly on Thursdays exclusively on CBS All Access. Based on the 1978 Stephen King post-apocalyptic novel, The Stand is about a global pandemic in the form of a weaponized strain of influenza, aka the Captain Trips virus, that wipes out 99% of the entire world population. The few survivors, united in various groups, form new societies including the Free Zone, a confederation based out of Boulder, Colorado where survivors can live free, lawful lives. The Free Zone is led by Stu Redman, portrayed by James Marsden. Stu is a man immune to the virus who becomes a government guinea pig before he finally breaks free after nearly everyone around him, including government doctors, dies from the Captain Trips virus. These survivors are also drawn together by another force, Mother Abigail, portrayed by Whoopi Goldberg, a 108-year-old survivor who becomes a spiritual leader to the people of the Free Zone. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, the other survivors are drawn under the spell of the Man in Black, aka Randall Flagg, portrayed by Alexander Skarsgård. Boom. Set to an eerie, slowed-down rendition of Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, in the new trailer you can spot crucified individuals as Flag can be seen on billboard monitors giving his gospel. The somewhat charismatic leader with incredible abilities organizes a fascist dictatorship around his visions. Executive producers Benjamin Cavill and Taylor Elmore explained in the panel that Skarsgård's rendition of The Wolf will be slightly updated to represent the present day. Also as a side note, it looks like you can expect to see many King Easter eggs throughout the miniseries, as you can spot in the new trailer the iconic carpet from the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. The rest of the cast rounds out with Odessa Young as Franny Goldsmith, a young pregnant woman who fears that her child will not be immune to the virus. Owen Teague, who has also appeared in past Stephen King adaptations, is Harold Lauder, Franny's shy and awkward neighbor who claims he wants to protect her, but may in fact have other plans in store for her. Let's just say he gets a bit controlling. Which one of you is Larry Underwood? Watchmen's Javon Adepo stars as musician Larry Underwood, who has his first big hit after the pandemic ravages the world. Heather Graham will play sociolite Rita Blakemore, while Henry Zaga plays the hearing-impaired Nick Andros with extraordinary sensitivity to nature. Amber Heard appears as Nadine Cross, who falls in with Flagg's hellish team, while Greg Kinnear portrays Glenn Bateman, a widow professor who helps the group in wake of Captain Tripp's destruction. This miniseries will change the chronology of King's original story. The new series will begin after the pandemic has already wiped everyone out. The first episode will start with survivors in mask and protective gear clearing the dead in Boulder. From there, we'll meet the major characters in the story and we'll flash back to their lives pre-pandemic, jumping back and forth between life before and after. On top of that, the story will close with a new coda written by Stephen King himself. The world is now a blank page. And it is there. You must make your stand. Okay, that's it for us over here, everybody. Let us know if you're excited about The Stand in the comment section down below, and we'll be back here with more coverage later this year. Bye-bye.